Thanks for being here for Broadway Profiles. I'm Tamsin Fidel. Well, the countdown continues. Now less than two months away from the return of our biggest Broadway musicals. The first performance is resuming in early September. But the new staging of Company returns in November, starring Katrina Lenk, Patti Lapone, and a ton of other great stars. Paul Wontorek is here with the story. Matt Doyle was already in performances in Company when the pandemic shut down Broadway. Now the veteran of hits like the Book of Mormon and War Horse is anxious to get back on stage to play a groom having second thoughts about getting married today. So Broadway's coming back. Yes. How do you feel? Uh, overwhelmed, grateful, uh, emotional every single hour about it. Yeah, yeah, I think that it's so surreal to be standing here and looking at that after all of the trauma that we've all collectively been sure. through. My dressing room is right there. My water bottle's still there. Everything that I did, like all the, the pictures that I hung, and it's all right there. My costume is hung, ready to go and I have completely like forgotten the show. <laughs> so it's so strange that like everything's ready to go and now I'm like, well, I have to relearn the entire, entire production. <laughs> Company is such a New York yeah. City musical. And yes. I think right now everyone wants to focus on New York City yeah. and getting tourism back. And this is about a bunch of neurotic New Yorkers basically, right? Yes. So does it, you feel like you're in like the ultimate New York show? We always said Company is the perfect musical to bring Broadway back. It's about New York City and it's about uh, being alive, not alone. But alone is alone, not alive. And uh, we've really hung on to that and I think our producers found value in that and realized that they needed to bring this show back and that it was really, really important that it was here on the other side of this awful, awful pandemic. <laughs> you are playing Jamie. I am. Who is formerly known as Amy. Yes. Uh, there's a little bit of a gender swap yes. here. What other things does this production have in store for audiences? Oh, well, first and foremost, our, our lead character, Bobby, is no longer a bachelor, but a bachelorette, played by the glorious Katrina Link, who is stunning in this show. It really is amazing how just swapping the gender of the character completely modernizes everything and brings it into a contemporary setting. And all of a sudden, it just works, and, and no text had to be changed and uh, it's just flipping the script in, in the simplest of ways and having just this profound effect on, on the actual piece itself. Which is amazing because it's uh, 51 years old, yeah. this show, and it was so contemporary and modern yes. when it came out, but I guess these human emotions are just sort of evergreen. Well, my favorite thing that Marianne said about <laughs> about company and the piece itself is, I don't know if I buy that a 35-year-old man in New York City would be criticized for not being married at this point. In the 70s, of course, but today I don't know if it really comes across uh, anymore uh, that he would face such uh, scrutiny from his friends. Right. And now you put a woman into that role um, at 35 years old and it, it suddenly works again. And it is, it makes you realize that the rest of the text, this unbelievable text that George Firth wrote, is timeless, completely timeless, yeah. So Jamie is marrying his boyfriend, Paul. Yes. <laughs> and he's having uh, he's a wedding day jitters. Yes. And you get to sing this iconic Sondheim song, Getting Married Today, which I believe is one of the most complicated Sondheim tongue twisters ever. Yeah. Is it as hard of a song to perform as it seems to me? Yes, it just takes a muscle memory and uh, training that I've never really done on a piece before because there's actually, because it's so fast, there is uh, little room to just discover it organically. It really is far more calculated than any piece I've worked on before because it's just, it's just the fastest song I've ever, ever, ever sang in my life. Any favorite lyrics in there? Oh yeah, I would say, um, I telephoned my shrink and he said maybe I should come and see him Monday, but by Monday I'll be floating in the Hudson with the other garbage. Literally, that was the lyric I was thinking of this yeah, morning. Yeah, that's my that's favorite yes. lyric in the show <laughs> because I think I've felt that so many times in my life. I can't believe I haven't asked you about the biggest thing, which is you're co-starring with Patti Lapone. How's that? Amazing. <laughs> I'm I'm like the biggest Lupone stan, as the kids say. I I love her so much. My favorite thing about Patty is that she is an ensemble member first, and that's something that 
I guess maybe I didn't really anticipate is that she really is about the work first and she's about the company first. I have really, really valued my time with her, learning from her and just getting to know her. She's hilarious. I mean, she's blunt, she's fierce, she's she's uh, brilliant and, and just this like force that I love being around. And, and she's been so, so supportive and so kind to me.